So my name is Ty Beyer and my daughter is Lily. She's been at CETA for three years and it's been three amazing years. It has given her confidence to get out of her shell. She's not as reserved as she was before. She's very proud. She just walks into CETA and she has a little bounce in her step while she's walking inside. And I've just seen a total change in her personality, confidence at school, confidence with violin. So the impact isn't just for Lily as a dancer on stage right now, but what is it gonna be later on in her life? Because her life is changed by this program. Uh, I feel like it's a gift. I believe that CETA is a gift to Lily and a gift to our family. My name is Mark Lieber and I've been dancing for over 12 years and I've recently came from an international ballet company that's traveled all over the world and all over the United States. And I found myself in Lubbock, Texas with Christ in the Arts and there's no other place I'd rather be. My ultimate goal as an instructor of these students through all of my experiences, I want to teach my students tools to use in the dance world so that they can use their bodies in ways to worship God in movement and in quality through dance and artistry so that they can worship and uh, show others the experience that God has given to them, their gifts and talents to give back to God. My name is Sarah Brandon. Um, I've been at CETA for going on seven years now. Um, first as a student for about four years, and then I started teaching two or three years ago, so now I'm an instructor as well as a dancer. My favorite part is getting to see girls um, feel comfortable enough to open up, especially the shy girls. I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for the shy girls because I was that girl. Um, we don't want them to find their worth and their value in how many jumps they can do or how many turns they can do or how flexible they are. It's not why they're loved. That's not why we want them to feel worthy. That's not why we want them to feel valuable. We want them to feel valuable because they are loved. They are loved by their classmates. They're loved by their teachers. They're loved by so many people. So getting to encourage them and, and really see them come alive and, and feel confident um, in their dancing, even if it's not about the dancing, if it's just feeling beautiful and comfortable with themselves. Hi, my name is Hannah, and I've been at CETA for five years. My teachers, they have just shown love and have pushed me to be me, and they saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. Ever since I was little, I've always been shy. It's been hard for me to be myself in front of other people. When I dance on stage, I just feel like I come alive. Um, I feel very happy and free. That's been a struggle for me, feeling free. <laughs> I just feel like I get be myself when I'm at CETA. My name is Carson Rhodes, and I've been at Christ in the Arts for seven years now, and I've loved every minute of it. When I was younger, I was you know going through all the things that uh, young men and women go through at you know roughly you know 12, 13. I was insecure with myself, and it's it's hard to find yourself, and Christ in the Arts really gave me something to focus on to do to, to further my body, to further my mind, to further my heart. Putting Christ in the arts is, is their method, but putting Christ in hearts is their goal. After seven years of dancing here, there's not really another place that I dream of being. I've found a place at Christ in the Arts. And Christ in the Arts has found a place too. This nice, large building will be our new home coming this summer, 2017. This building has the potential we need for all the growth and expansion we anticipate for many years to come. But we need your help. There are rooms to build, special dance floors to lay, and large mirrors and sound systems to install. All of this and more will cost many thousands of dollars. Would you consider helping CETA take this place and make it into our home? Donations can be made by going to ChristInTheArts.org and clicking on Donate. Having a place that will easily hold our growing number of students and staff is crucial to moving forward with our mission to bring beauty, 
power, and glory to the people of West Texas and beyond. Your gift, large or small, will help make that mission possible. Thank you so much.